live. I'm live. Hello, everybody. Drinking coffee. There's a lot of stuff to go over today because uh, it's been a weekend, so there's extra days of items that, uh, I, I guess I should say orders that have been accumulated over the weekend. So I got a lot of stuff to show you today. I'm going to drink my coffee and let's get right over to it. I just pulled a bunch of stuff uh, that we're going to ship out today. And um, thank you guys so much. Uh, we'll go through at the end of the video and I'll try to thank everybody individually, but it's a pretty long, uh, long list. Everybody that's picked up in a regular, that's not gonna be uh, in the video today, but we are gonna ship uh, everything we can out today also. So here we go, flipping it around. Got stuff that we're sending and where do we start? Uh, here's a fun one. A customer dropped me a message saying they, uh, they appreciated some of the stuff we're dropping. And this is for Emmy, uh, for a Color 8 Vault key holder. Hi, Ben. Ooh, denim blue wallets. Yeah, actually, you know what? There's some really awesome, um, these are all the private stock wallets that we put up. And I was noticing that there's some like really incredible inverted blue uh, foxes with teal interiors there that I'm surprised are still here. Anyways, thank you so much, Emmy. This is your vault key holder. Still got to put the hardware on there. Here's another piece in color eight shell. This is our Apple watch band. You can see we've got the nice hand stained wax and burnish edges. This customer requested some silver hardware, uh, which looks like that. So we have the uh, silver buckle and the silver lug adapters. Here's another one, color eight shell, which you can see on the back side of it. This is in, uh, this is reverse color eight. Hi, Jaron. And this watch band, if I could get it without one hand, has the black hardware on it. Good morning, everybody. Here's a English tan Dublin. We call this the key buddy in, in house with this is our keychain bell clip. Hi, Steve. Hi, Gator. And then we've got some really awesome private sock stuff uh, that people have picked up. I guess this is a good one to start with. This is 100% teal Latigo on our new our newest model. This is the small zip. And if I could open this with one hand, which maybe I should just put this tripod down. Hold on a sec. <laughs> Oh my goodness. All right, small zip. This one has a uh, teal on the inside, so 100% teal Latigo. And we got a one shot in Color 8 Show Cordovan. I should also mention, if you guys haven't seen these um, live videos before from the daily shipments, most of these things do not have the edges finished. We try to finish a lot of them beforehand, but there's so many different SKUs to keep track of uh, that not all of them are completely edge finished. Like this Gus card case here, this one's actually really sweet. So this is black shell cordovan and the reverse side of the black on this one is really, really dark. So you can see the ink stamp there sort of peeking out. That's a really interesting Gus card case. Another small zip here, English tan Dublin. This one, I'll do it again. This one, whoa. <laughs> tripod injury all right this one has a black interior so we we've been offering these in two different interior versions so this is our what we've been doing is sort of like our defaults with the black interior i think is a really clean look and then we have that three re zipper on the outside with the english tan these we try to keep in stock all the time or we're going to try to uh this is a two-shot card case in english tan dublin you'll notice there's always a lot of english tan dublin and that's our most popular uh, leather and color right now. It's really, it's really beautiful. Here's, this is actually the only irregular I'm pulling because the customer ordered a couple different things and I didn't want to confuse myself. We had a couple irregular comb sheaths and you'll notice this is smaller than our normal comb sheath. So it's a little bit more like pocket sized. And then this one, I'll try to do the tripod again. Maybe we should just leave it down the whole time. This one has a, um, a metal comb on the inside that's uh, really hefty and nice and it slides into the sheath just like that. And the, I think they also picked up this bottle opener. This one uses a edges finish on it. Also, we did a few bottle openers uh, during the holidays. So English Chan Dublin here, we need to polish it up. You can see it's sort of been beveled off. So we get a, like a little bit of a lighter color right now, but we will darken that up and polish it up. I think this is our last one shot in non-shell cordovan right now. We got to make another batch of these. This is the English Chan Dublin one shot. And I see you chatting. Let me see what you said. Uh, Glenn, does the Apple Watch come in different sizes? We have one size for the Apple Watch that only fits the larger Apple Watches. 
So I think mine is like a 44. I figure what this is called. We did modify our Apple watch band in the last year to make it fit more people's wrist sizes. So if you have a very narrow wrist or sort of a big boy wrist, uh, it should fit everybody. But the lug adapters that we use only fit the larger Apple watch sizes. And they do also fit the new like ultra watch or whatever it's called. We've seen a couple people come in uh, with the Apple Watch, the new one that's like titanium, and the silver hardware that we use matches up very nicely. It works pretty well with that. We've got another key buddy here, keychain belt clip in natural shell, and that's very, very... Actually, when I pulled this one out, it kind of made me want to switch over to, to that leather in color. Uh, a couple leather polishes going out. This is uh, Saphir Cordovan Cream. We use this product on every piece of shell Cordovan Every wallet that we ship that's made out of the Cordovan, we apply this to it. Here's some Tanner's Blend. It's a really special conditioner that was developed by the Tanner at Horween. And I went into a long story about it in the last live stream. Here's another thing from Horween. And Nick has a proprietary packaging for the Venetian Shoe Cream, which is what we have here. It's six ounces, a larger bottle. So this will last a good amount of time. I've actually been polishing my, um, my footwear with this recently, and I really enjoy it. And what else we got? Let's keep it going. A bunch of wallets. Um, over here, this is all the Amaretto Shell Cordovan. We made a private stock, uh, so, sort of smaller batch of Amaretto Shell Cordovan items. So this is the Frank the Enforcer. Still need to polish that one up. You can see some of the polish has sort of been a little bit cloudy on here. So that still needs to get polished up a little bit. Here's a Fat Herbie, also in the Amaretto Shell. My favorite Shell Cordovan color here. It's super, super nice. Here's a really remarkable piece, and I'm surprised that we still have a couple of these. This is 100% Amaretto Shell Cordovan on the Johnny the Fox, and they're really, really tough for us to get the thin pieces for the inside of the Fox in Shell Cordovan. So it's special that we're able to make any of them. I'm really glad to see somebody's picking one up. Here's another Amaretto Shell piece. This is Capone Money Clip. And Tony the Ant, so this is sort of like the little brother to the Pet Herbie. Same aesthetic on the outside with that bill slot. And then we've got the card holders on the inside. Here's a Bugs Moran. And we didn't do vertical bugs for the Amaretto because we need thin pieces of leather for the vertical bugs. And it's pretty difficult to come by. So we reserved them for the, uh, for the foxes that we made there. All right, keeping it going here. Here's one of my favorite wallets that we do. And I think we only have like one or two of these left. This is 100% Color 8 Shell Cordovan on the Johnny the Fox. You can see we've stained the edges here, but we still need to wax and burnish up all that. And it gives it a really, really nice look. And then, of course, we still need to polish the leather up. But we do that same stained edge for all the card holders too. So when this is completely finished, and even now, it's just like a really clean, beautiful look. And we do that for both the Color 8 and Black Shell Cordovan. Here's another Fox. This is a funky one. A black double on the outside with that incredible green character. And then we've combined it with the teal horse hide on the inside. So you get that sort of beautiful two-tone effect. And there's a couple other teals in a sec. Here's our most popular wallet. English Tan Dublin, Johnny the Fox. Also has a really clean look. This one I think is just needs to get the, the grain polished, but the edges have all been waxed and burnished so you can see it's got that nice like filled in sort of sheen to it here's a look at the inside and here's two private stock foxes that people picked up over the weekend raw natural shell cordovan and you can see the contrasting teal stitching that hints to the teal on the inside i think that turned out really great so i was surprised that um honestly surprised that we still have i think there's like another one or two of these but it's a really cool look. Maybe it's just like a little too funky for most people. Here's another one that I think turned out great. There's something about the black and teal together. So this is Black Shell Cordovan, which is distinct from the Dublin underneath. You can see the grain difference there. Very grainy texture on the Dublin and very flat, smooth, and polished in for the shell. And then we've got that contrasting teal stitch on the outside with the teal on the interior. It's really sweet. Uh, a couple more English Tan pieces. Tony the Ant, English Tan Dublin. Still need to finish off the edges, polish that guy up. Here's a Fat Herbie. Same story here. <laughs> this is my favorite wallet style. I'm wearing one of these right now. Whoop. And, oh, another one. 
I'm really enjoying the uh, hand stained edges that we're doing for the black and for the color eight shell. It gives it a really nice look and it's the same, like we match the color perfectly to the shell. Like once we wax this up, it blends in very, very nicely. And it's, it's really, really special. I, I think the black and color eight shell pieces that we're doing right now are extra nice. Here's a natural shell Cordovan Capone money clip. We don't do a stained edge on this color because of course it's just a natural uh, shell Cordovan. There's no color applied to it. So we just do a nice wax and burnish for those edges. And then this one has natural shell on the inside. Here's a thing that I was actually surprised to see because we're we're going to be moving away from the Chrome Excel leather. Um, mainly because it's just not as popular, but it's also really difficult to work with. It sort of dents scuffs and scratches very easily. And it's kind of sad because it's really, really beautiful. But I actually prefer the Dublin and the Cordovan for small other goods like wallets. So we do have a few of these going out today, natural Chrome Excel on the Capones. Here's an English Chan Dublin Capone money clip. Still need to put the clip in there. But you can see we do that little bit of um, a color added to the edges on this guy to blend it all in and then wax and burnish that. I think those turn out really well also. Everything turns out well. Here's another uh, color HL piece on the Capone money clip with the stained edge, same color eight stained edge. It's another Capone. This one's whiskey shell cordovan actually with a reverse interior and the customer requested a black money clip for this guy. So we added that one in. Still need to polish up the leather on this guy. Here's another Private Stock Capone. This one is Cigar Shell Cordovan with a contrasting cream stitching on the outside and then a reverse interior. And the reverse cigar, how cool is that? That looks really neat. And then we have a couple uh, vertical bugs. So this is, I believe this is also Cigar Shell Cordovan on the outside with reverse cigar on the inside. It seems like people are preferring the vertical bugs over the, what we call the traditional bugs Moran recently. And here's another one, color eight shell Cordovan with the vertical card slots on the inside. we have hand stained edges for that color. And what else do we have? This is a natural shell Cordovan Fat Herbie. This is sort of the first wallet that put us on the map about, what is it? 2011, so 12 years now, almost 12 years. And if you're looking for patina, both the natural shell Cordovan and the raw natural, uh, where was it? Is this it? The raw natural and the natural shell develop a really great patina. A couple other things. In fact, there's a bunch of other things. This is our XL valet tray. And I still need to put the hardware on this guy, but you can see it's just a huge chunk of English and Dublin. Hi, James. I think the names of your wallet are brilliant. I've ever explained them. Most of the wallets are, actually all of them except for the small zip are named after Chicago gangsters. So the valet trays, all the accessories are not, but the wallets, I try to make them fun gangster names. So this is an XL valet tray in English Tan Dublin. Got to put the, the snaps on there. This is a normal size valet tray, so we can give you size difference here. This one is square, the other one's rectangular. And this is black shell cordovan. And all of the shell Cordovan valet trays are irregular, so you will see some scuffs and scratches in them, although we are usually able to polish it up pretty nicely. But that's just a way for us to keep the cost down on the valet trays. It's just such a huge piece of Cordovan that it would be ridiculous to make it out of uh, non-irregular leather. And then we have a lot of belts going out, and uh, I just only pulled one of each color. So this is the English tan on the right, brown, Chrome XL, natural Chrome XL, Color 8 Chrome XL and Navy Chrome XL. Actually, maybe nobody picked up a black belt. But this Navy here, it's kind of hard to see as it lays on the table. It kind of looks black. But as you flex this, you can see some of these more aqua blue tones come through, which is really nice. And it's sort of the same story on the Color 8. This one's a really nice burgundy, but the undertones are much more bright and cherry, which is kind of neat. And then... We've got a couple more foxes and a Herbie to look at. This is color four shell Cordovan, my, my second favorite shell color. Really, really beautiful medium brown with reddish undertones. And then this has a natural Latigo interior, which we did a few of these for the holidays. And I still have a couple left. So I'm surprised to see these because I thought they turned out so nicely. Here's another one that I'm still surprised with. Man, this is so cool. This is black lizard shell Cordovan. 
And it kind of gives me Stingray leather vibes. If you've ever seen Stingray, some of these finer uh, patterns in the leather really remind me of that sort of same patterning in the Stingray. But I thought that this one turned out great. We've got a black hand stained edge on this with black horsehide latigo on the inside. And the last one, uh, another Fat Herbie here in color eight shell cordovan. This is the classic cordovan color. And then we do that same waxed and burnished and hand stained edge to match everything. And color eight is a weird name, but it's like a dark brown burgundy. Hi, Guillermo. All right, let's flip it around. And then thank everybody. Uh, I'll try to thank everybody individually. It's going to be a long list. So I was trying to save it for the end here. But everybody that's picked up an irregular or any other item from the site, uh, hopefully you saw it it just now and uh thank you guys so much i really 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 appreciate it let's see what we got uh i'll just start reading off people's names that have picked up stuff <clears throat> but if you have any questions please feel free to to drop a question i'd be happy to answer anything you got <laughs> all right so dustin actually dustin I, I think your order came in just before i started taping here same with aaron we'll get you guys uh maybe tomorrow uh, another, oh, Justin, Manny, Herman, Stefan, Craig, John, another John, spelled differently, Patrick, Justin, Ian, Danielle, Martin, Emmy, who I already thanked for that uh, key case, Joshua, Logan, Doran, Brandon, Vincent, Alana, Aaron, Leaf, Alan, John, Daniel, Peter, Logan, Mercedes, Jackson, Ed, James, Stephen, Christopher, Shyam, Ben, Mitchell, Vince, Chris, Guillermo, Oliver, Aya, Manuel, Weston, Jared, Junyan, Ralph. Man, you guys are awesome. I'm going to keep going. There's like a lot. Daniel, Sherry, Taylor, Shannon, Jason, Alex, Nicholas, Les, Jose, John, Mercedes, Kent, Glenn, Kyung, Nicholas, Ben, Nathan, Ruben. I saw, a, I saw a question come in. <laughs> oh, you finished up the uh, the Grandstone podcast? Yeah, if you guys haven't checked out Full Grain Podcast, we've done some really great interviews. We're sort of on a, a little bit of a break right now for the podcast. But uh, check out Full Grain Podcast. I put up some clips on YouTube, but it's everywhere else you can find. Um, you can find podcasts. You can find Full Grain Podcast. I, I listen on Spotify. I know a lot of people listen on Apple. Marbled Garnet. I don't know if we've done mar Marbled Garnet. Maybe we have. I think that would be pretty neat, actually. I think it would work. Oh, my pleasure, James. I know, he said, James says, I know you have a Horween ties. Do you ever delve into leather from other tanneries? Um, I actually have. Uh, well, I got a box of cuttings. Um... Man, we're, we're reorganizing the whole shop here, and you'll see, like, I'm just, everything's disorganized. But I have a, a box here of different um, samples from different tanneries. In fact, a, a fellow leather crafter on the Stitch Down Discord sent me some stuff. So I have a bunch of different leathers um, from different tanneries, and they're nice. And... I was kind of saving them to do a video to talk about how much I, oh, here they, here we go. So here's like a huge uh, bag of different leathers. I think that one right there is from Wicket. Uh, and then I've got a bunch of leather from um, Maverick Leather who sells uh, several different tanneries. Here's the plug for uh, Carmine Jack who sent me a bunch of stuff. This is everything he sent me. He wrote me like a nice little letter. So I've got a bunch of cool stuff, including this. Um, this is the reindeer, like the Russian reindeer leather that I wanted to talk about. We brought this up in one of the podcasts, which is why he sent this. It has a really funky smell. <laughs> so there's there's like a good amount of stuff to talk about from other tanneries. And uh, it's nice. So I do have other non-Horween stuff, but we have, you know, if I'm honest... The whole reason we started doing the Ashland stuff is I fell in love with the Horween leather. So we've stuck to mostly Horween stuff. And that's not to say you can't make nice stuff out of, out of different uh, leather tanneries. Ben says, is there any ultraviolet fat Herbies uh, that I have somewhere? I can make one. You might actually want a magenta. 
uh, pro tip. I think the magenta is like a really awesome, like vibrant pink shade. So if you want something, um, I would suggest Ben email my brother, uh, Matt, and the email address is info at ashlandleather.com. Just say, you know, I'd like a ultraviolet Herbie and he can give you a, an estimate. So we, I think we'd have to make one of those. I don't know if we have any available, but he would know better than, than I would. Uh, I'm a top chap. Thanks, James. Also, bloody love full grain. Not enough leather pods and yours is exceptional. Oh, thanks, man. Yeah, Nick's been out of town. I should, I'll probably give him a call like after we're done right here. Because I, I messaged him last week. He's been out of town. And then the sucky thing is, like, I'm going to be out of town in a week. So we sort of have a small window right now to record podcasts. And I might just, we might just not do it this month at all. So we're, we have no content that's been filmed. We have nothing right now to release. And I haven't, we haven't even scheduled another guest. So it, it's a little, uh, it's a little bit of a bummer because I love doing it. I'm wearing a cord of belt right now. Let me show you. And we're going to try to do these soon. Uh, this is a color four shell cordovan belt that is made like an old razor strop. So we use the horse butts on the back side of the belt here. This was actually the honing side that they would use for the razor strop. And then they would use the shell side to sharpen uh, the edge. So we are going to make some shell belts. This was one of the, this is like the final production sample but we have not produced any production yet <laughs> i've been wearing this one for several months now and i just wanted to make sure that i loved it before we released it so i'm trying i'm thinking that we're going to be releasing the belts as a pre-order so i'll make one colorway and then offer it to you and you can pick your size that way and then we'll make it um but i don't know which color we're going to do first i really like this color four i bet a lot of people are going to want natural um but there's that I'm going to keep naming off names here. I forget where I left off. Kent, Glenn, uh, Ben, Nathan, Ruben, Leon, Frank, Clayton, Matthew, JG, Mitchell, Darren, Michael, John, George, Jesus, Leonard, Brian, Jason, Admon, Kevin, Wynn, Artem, Joseph, Leonard, Scott, Chris, Brian, Gareth, Brandon, Charles, Miguel, John, another Clayton? Another Clayton. That's awesome. Kyle, Dustin, Nicholas. All right, who else? Oh, there's, there you are, Clay. Clay Williamson, nice, man. You uh, dox yourself. <laughs> uh, we got Edward, Eugene, Michael G. Uh, shout out, Michael G. I really appreciate your supporting us. Edgar, Jeremy, Joseph, Jason, Adam, James, Will, Gregory, Frank, Mark, Jason, Michael, Rex, John, Brendan, Christian, Chris, and Steve. Man, you guys are the best. Um, what's up, Omez? Oji-san says, regarding the belts, are there any other any other Dublin variations that we release in the future? We've done... I'm going to take a quick walk for you, Oji-san. Uh, I think we have done brown Dublin. Yeah. Uh, russet? So here's, we were doing, um, this is russet brown Dublin. It's like kind of reddish, but this is, this particular piece right here is too thin. So we were doing uh, two layer belts with this. I'll try to try to show it to you. So we haven't, we don't have any to offer right now, but this russet brown is a really, really nice leather especially the Dublin. So it's sort of like a, it's sort of like a color eight, but it's like, it's like more red underneath and more brown on the surface. It's kind of strange. So we don't have those available, but that is something, that's something I'd like to do uh, is different Dublin colors for belts. But it, most people want belts that match their footwear and there's not a whole lot of Dublin uh, footwear being made. So, We've sort of strayed away from that. What were the other questions here? Uh, Ryan says, are we going to get an update vid on your Thunderdome boots? I should do an update video. Here you go. So here's the video. I'm wearing the uh, Grant Stone brass boots here. Been digging them every month on the first of the month. Oh, upside down. 
<laughs> the, YouTube just said my orientation is backwards. But uh, these are them. And I should do like an actual video on them because I, I really like them. And I'm also wearing the Oak Street. Let's pull those out for you. So I'm walking all over the shop today. I've also been wearing these Oak Streets that I also really like. And these are Merriam Horsebutt. So somebody was asking about non horween stuff. This is a non horween leather. And I do like it. Although this one is like really creased and this one is not. And I also noticed that the stitching color is totally different on both of these, which is a little, a little odd, right? <clears throat> but I like them. Um, all right, cool. Um, so yeah, I should do, honestly, I've just been super busy. Um, so I'd love to make videos all day. I just would rather you guys have your wallets and stuff that you ordered. What wallet am I wearing? That's a good question too. You know, we did a auction that seemed to be pretty polarizing. Um, we auctioned off this pouch in uh, reverse cordovan. This is like a prototype we did. We auctioned off this guy as well as this Herbie that I wore. The lighting's terrible. Let's see how well I can, <laughs> can show you. Because this will be my last day with this guy. So here's the two wallets, and then I got to get back to work here. So we auctioned off this Herbie. And the reason I said it was polarizing is people seem to be kind of bummed out that we're doing auctions at all. But honestly, like, I didn't know how to price this thing. So I put it up for a dollar, and I think it, it went pretty far beyond that. I don't even know if the person's paid for it yet, so that could have been a nonsense bid. So before people get too upset <laughs> about the auctions, it's I'm not trying to be greedy about it. It's just I didn't know what to charge. So this is tumbled natural shell that I wore for a few months and I loved it. I, this was something that sat on the private stock a bit, it's like some of the wallets we looked at earlier where I was just surprised that they're still there. This was one that I was surprised about and I, I loved it so much I decided to wear it. So this was the last wallet that I wore. And then for the last couple of days, I've been using this guy. And this is a new leather called Royal Blue Cypress. It's very similar to the Dublin that you see there, but obviously the color is much different and it's remarkable. It's really, really beautiful. And I've been wear testing it a bit just to see how it polishes up and patinas. I have to say that this wallet is the first wallet. <laughs> I've been wearing like my wallets for a long time, but this color is the, every time I take it out to pay for something, I, I, it gets remarked upon. So people are really interested in, in this already. And then we're going to start to release it in all of our different styles soon, I think, along with some other colors that uh, are not yet announced. But this blue is really neat. And the long story there, before we go, is... Uh, flip it around. The long story there, we had a leather that we were sampling called Blue Rockford. And people freaked out about the Blue Rockford color uh, that we were making private stock of. And we're getting a lot of requests for it. The, that leather is nice and, and really, really pretty, <clears throat> but it was like almost too pillowy. It, it's sort of puffy and not very dense, which is why we had we asked Horween to make us some Royal Blue Dublin. And the you don't get that vivid blue shade on the Dublin tannage. So they made it a little bit different. And it's sort of more like Latigo leather with a wax on it. So it's like a a Frankenstein between the Dublin tannage and the, or the Dublin finish and the Latigo tannage. So you get sort of the best of both worlds there and you get a nice bright color, which is why we're doing it. Um, glad you guys like it. Uh, natural Miriam Horsebutt or a very light Toscanella. It's a natural Miriam Horsebutt, AKS Minster. All right, guys. Well, everybody that I listed here, uh, thank you so much for supporting us. We got a lot to pack and ship today, um, but really, really appreciate you guys. And I hope you have a really great week. All right. I'll see you later. Have a good one.